Jesus is a man of tremendous credibility. People of all stripes admire him greatly. Central to his message was who he was and what he came to do. And he offered a unique plan of salvation to humanity. You cannot avoid the fact that Jesus was, was not a pluralist, he was not an inclusivist, he was an exclusivist. It was what he taught and what he taught those who followed him to teach as well. This is what motivates what Christians call the Great Commission. This is why Christians are a missionary, uh, missionary people and Christianity is a missionary religion. Now there's a reason Jesus said this. It wasn't just hubris, it wasn't just arrogance. It's because he was the one who had the right take on the problem and provided the singular solution. The problem wasn't that there weren't good people in the world or weren't sincere people in the world or people who even wouldn't believe the right things. The problem was, regardless of those other things, every human being failed to keep God's law as they ought to have kept it. And therefore, they are many times over criminals in his court. And God's justice requires punishment for that. God's mercy is demonstrated by becoming a man in the person of Jesus. And Jesus steps into the dock in our place. And he says to the judge, his father, I will take the punishment on their behalf. Let them go. And he takes the full force of God's anger against our sin upon himself, which then becomes the grounds for forgiveness. Now we have a choice. God is not looking down at the world at different religious clubs, the Muslim club, the Christian club, the Jewish club, the Hindu club, and he's not saying, you know, I like the Christian club better to hell with the rest of you, quite literally. No, he's looking down at humanity who is desperately wicked compared to his standards, who desperately needs to be rescued. And he offers a pardon and he gives people an opportunity to either accept it or reject it. If we accept it, the pardon is in Jesus, his son. If we accept those terms, then we fall under the mercy that is provided through Jesus. If we don't, then we stand as we think we desire on our own two feet before God and we fend for ourselves. But that will not be a pretty picture because if we were real honest with ourselves, we'd realize how terribly we've disappointed God in what he's wanted. That's the choice that's put before us. Jesus gave me every reason to trust what he had to say. It's, it's not a leap of faith. It's a step of trust based on good, solid information. And this is why you know, the apostles weren't speaking out of the top of their head when they kept referring back to the things Jesus did. The book of Acts starts with the statement, these are things that Jesus did with many convincing proofs. Those things are available if people want to, uh, want to find out about them.